In this little tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can edit when you have content already drawn on using, in this case, it was the pen tool, but any vector shape you can edit with. I'm just going to zoom up to the CR that we see here. And I'll just pull it in with my space bar to get it into focus. Okay, I'll zoom out one level. There we go. And basically to edit the lines, like it is the subselection tool. So it's the white arrow that you see up here grouped with the selection tool. And uh, let me uh, hide a, a few of these layers actually, and we'll just work on the letter C. I'll hide the R's and the top C. Actually, I'll hide the bottom C, and we'll just work on this C right here. Okay, to uh, edit the line, you actually need to click on the line like that, and that will present the anchor points. Then you can actually go in and click on an individual anchor point with the sub selection tool here, and that will present the handles. And if I want, I could, you know, I can click around to edit the different things and you can see how it adds to the selection. So if I, for some reason, wanted to change some of these properties, let's say I wanted to break this apart and make it like a little bump, like a heart shape. Again, I'll just remind you the alt click on the anchor point, or rather the handle, sorry, will separate it from its associated handle on the other side. And now I can just go in with this tool I'm not holding any modifier keys, I'm just using the tool of clicking. I can start to change the shape. I can actually grab points as well as handles. All right, so that's really how we edit something that's already drawn. It's the sub selection tool. So I'll just go around and do a couple quick more edits here, but that's the essence of how you would go in after the fact and start to change things. Um, you can add and delete points using the pen tool, though I will say that. So I can add an anchor point at any point. No pun intended there. All right, and I can also delete anchor points, but deleting is a little more uh, severe because it will connect, you know, with the other two points that go around it and it'll kind of do the happy medium. All right, so you can see how that really changed. So once again, sub selection tool. And I can just drag that around, pull those around, move the whole shape if I want to. Uh, let me show you one more little thing actually that you can edit with the selection tool. It's uh, not that intuitive to think so, but with the actual selection tool, I can actually grab the line itself. And it's a lot more organic, but it's, it is kind of cool in its own way. And that is the selection tool, which is the black arrow. All right, and go around to any curve or grab any line and start to pull at it and it just it's like putty almost and it, it, this was a corner point and that's why you still see that sharp edge there but again that's the selection tool and look at that how you know if you're doing like free flow graphics uh, this could be quite pleasant as well if you want more control sub selection tool you're sort of dealing with it as a vector object this way you click on it click on the line and then you can click on the various anchor points to bring them alive if you will for editing purposes and then start to manipulate that way so that's how you edit existing uh, vector lines inside of adobe animate